Oh my goodness, here we go again. First we had the Xbox PC, then the VCR PC, then the PS3 PC. Now what am I going to do? What do you think, an Xbox 360 PC? I had a dead one, so I wanted to make some use out of it. The easiest thing I found is using an old motherboard uh, tray and just cut it out. This one happened to have sheet metal that was so thin I could cut out with the tin snips. And then you can pop in an IO shield, no problem. Well, I wanted to get a Pico type power supply. So from eBay, I got this one for about $40. The input didn't match this uh, laptop power supply that I already had. Um, so it's the uh, laptop brick that you have to plug into the wall. It's the AC to DC converter. So I went into my uh, T61, um, it's a dead laptop, and that happened to have the matching um, female. So I just uh, took that one out. Then it's a matter of just simply um, getting the power supply, so the positive and negative for the DC to uh, match up with the uh, Pico power supply. And it just so happens that the black matches with the black and the red matches with the red and I made sure that uh, all the voltages were correct before I put it together. And there it is, nice and compact. Simply all that came next was with the case and it's just a matter of making openings for cables to run through, for in this case ventilation through the sides, and of course the back for the IO shield and the uh, power supply region. And this is where the laptop, uh, sorry, the hard drive was going to go. That's all the easy stuff. Now this is the hard stuff, the power switch and LEDs. I wanted to use the main, uh, you know, the original area because that distributes the light for the uh, LEDs and the power switch. The main problem is, is that the tolerances are so tight, it's hard to solder in the leads in the front. Um, and so I decided, you know what, just scrap the whole thing. I'm going to just uh, screw out, um, drill out, sorry, all the LEDs and the power switch, etc. And I pulled this one from an old, uh, it's a momentary switch from the radio. And I tack it in with some hot glue and just to get it started. And I just do a lot of test fitting to make sure I got it in the right place. And after I know I got it in the right place, I hot glue that in and just sort of get it solid. Once the hot glue dries, it becomes very solid. So, you know, it. I didn't have to put a back plate or anything on there and that's the LED going in as well. Soldering it up after I found a satisfactory position and then get the other four LEDs for the hard drive in. Well in the end it took a long time to get this worked out but mainly it was this just getting the right distance from like the depth of it because Because this sticks out a certain degree and when you push it it's just hard to get that distance where this would do the on off switch would get the right space so we got the hard drive LEDs the on off and this is another LED right here. Well, here it is all wired up after I double checked everything. And this is the leads for the hard drive LEDs. So they're going to be blinking on and off. There's the negative and positive. Uh, they're just joined in parallel uh, and then out to the uh, motherboard leads right there. And then you have your momentary switch uh, leads and then your uh, power on uh, leads as well. After all that work is now the beautiful part of just uh, spray painted that tray white so it blends in a little bit better. And then just had to make a little bracket out of some tin um, for the power supply for the input, the DC input. Um, so I just decided to hot glue it in place. It seemed like the most secure idea and I screwed that in through the top bracket and uh, it fit really nice. You may recognize this uh, motherboard. It was my original Xbox build. It's a 1.6 dual core APU. I have a 
some fans. Now, I ran this without fans, but it grew quite hot. Not this, uh, the CPU, uh, the APU, but the uh, power supply. So I thought, okay, I'll just add some fans for both, keep it uh, relatively cooler. Um, so this could have been an all-passive system, but I just didn't find that it was effective enough. This is the uh, Pico Type PSU, um, and the cable management, I <laughs> I never really put a lot of effort into it. It all sits out in the front, uh, but it's, rel it's out of the way. This is the rear. As you can see, this is where my uh, power supply, uh, my bracket, right there, and then that's where the laptop power supply goes. Um, so this power supply was from an old T61 that was not working, or the the jack here. Um, this is my I/O shield. This is taken from an old computer. I'm going to fill this in with some uh, mesh and paint it white. Otherwise, I'm pretty satisfied. With now I added uh, one small strip of blue LEDs to uh, light up the front of the tray, so the DVD tray, and just through any ventilation holes. And now, time to close her up. Now what I like to do with my builds is mainly try to make it look very much stuck other than of course those little antennas sticking out, uh, but to look like the original, I think I achieved that. I should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. This is not a uh, gaming rig. I'm not trying to build a gaming rig. This is just a home theater PC. It checks email, plays videos, streams uh, content really well. And uh, that's the purpose of this build. If you're making a gaming one, you're going to have to cut a lot of ventilation holes. And I just wanted to make it look stock, make it look really clean. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.